Hello there everyone, this is I Mark 3 and welcome back to the big stompy 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 robot simulator that is MechWarrior Online. And well, there was a request um, in the last couple of weeks about, um, hey, can I use missiles? Hmm. I like guided missiles. So with that in mind, it is time to raid the shed and drag out this old toy. Yes, indeed. One of my maulers. Or in this case, the MAL-1R R version. It's been quite a while since this guy has been dragged out on the video, but, uh, you know, missiles demand, missiles get obeyed. On pain of many explosions. So, here we go. It has been tuned a little bit since last time, by the by. So, it's not quite the same. Right. As you can see, this mauler is geared up for all the missiles. It is built on a standard chassis, a standard armor, double heatsink, and Artemis upgrade for the missile weaponry. So, you know, everything's about the missiles. Little explosive blighters. It runs around on an XL300 engine, which has been upgraded since last time, giving it a whopping top speed of 54 kilometers an hour. So, yep, definitely a sprinter, this one, and no mistake. I may or may not be exaggerating somewhat, but what can you do? Then this is all also kept cool by four double heat sinks, two in the engine, one in each arm. And there is a supporting piece of equipment in the form of a Beagle active probe to increase missile lock on time and just help it generally hit things, which is always good. <laughs> Though between all this, it's got uh, rapid lock time and it's also got heat management to 1.33 for its supporting equipment, which is not too bad. It also has the backup weaponry of a pair of ER medium lasers. It used to be a pair of medium pulse lasers, but I took those down to mediums and took out some heat sinks in return for the XL engine upgrades to get the better speed. So that's where the changes have gone in. Private weapon systems are, as always for this particular mech, a quartet of LRM-15s with Artemis upgrade. Rigged to fire salvos of 30 missiles at a time. Because, well, if you link together more than two LRMs, they are going to overheat. Which is a shame, really. And the entire thing is finally fed by 13 tons of LRM ammunition. Which is plenty of little explosives to give to all the good little boys and girls. However, it is likely you'll have a fair chunk in reserve unless a battle drags on. In which case, you actually need the extra missiles. In a reasonably long match, it's quite easy to actually expend all of them, especially if you're not watching your shots. But yes, that is the entire loadout. I should point out, of course, that th this is mounted on a ML MAL-1R, basically. It's just the resistant version, so you can make this loadout if you want on the 1R version of the Mauler. I've not tried out on others, but that's what I've got. Anyway, that's enough of that. It is time to get on into the first batch and start delivering explosive presents. Here we go. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Okay, here we go. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gents, to HPG Manifold. The game mode is Assault, so basically it turns into a massive skirmish, as does everything with giant robots. I wish they would come up with some different game modes, to be honest, but, uh, you know. It's kind of hard when you've got giant war machines wandering around. <laughs> it's like, hmm, I've got a war machine, the enemy's got a war machine. Let's see what happens if we make them do kissy things at point-blank range. And or high-energy weaponry. Probably the latter, all things considered. Though I do sometimes find little videos which have the former. That went somewhere strange really quick. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> Moving on. It feels good to be in the boats of a Lerma. I should also probably mention that there has been a slight nerf to missiles. At least LRMs. Since uh, last time this particular mech was featured, or any LRM mech was featured to be honest, they've had their maximum range reduced a little bit. Other than that though, still pretty darn good. I just have to get... I, in fact, now, now that I think about it, that particular nerf hasn't really affected me at all. 
because I so rarely employed missiles at that kind of range anyway. So losing 100 meters off my max range is not an issue, which is why I entirely forgot about it. Oh, hello. So I see you there. They are taking the uh, top ground. Just a bit. New target acquired. There's a wolfhound over there. Oh, hello. New target acquired. Missiles for you! Yep, stopped. Hello, New missiles for you. Acquired. <laughs> yeah, I know I know very well to hold my fire Acquired. sometimes. Oh, they're pushing massively over there. Okay, time for supporting fire. Very much so. Let's unlock my arms as well. New target acquired. Yes, I see you over there. Oh, and New you've I've lost target on you. Okay. However, we are getting kind of pushed over this side, which is something of a concern. Hello, Mr. Cyclops. Oh no, he's dead. What a shame. <laughs> but yeah. If you're going to be a skilled learn player, you really don't want to be engaging at close range anyway. That is barely in range, that one. And apparently he's shielded as well, so yeah. I didn't manage to hit him, he got behind some cover, or just out, wandered out of range of my missiles. Probably the latter. It was very close to my maximum range, that. New target acquired. Yes, hello. Right, I think I need to get some cover. That Ebon Jaguar is probably going to pop up again. Yeah, hello. Base is being captured. Ooh, someone's being cheeky at our base, eh? All right. Warning. Oh look, incoming missiles! I thought that was going to happen at some point. Woo! I'm still only moderately damaged. Let's lock my arms back in place. I find it very distracting actually to have my arms unlocked, but it's just so useful sometimes. Oh jeez. You're not fine. I'm going to help out at my base. Hello, Ruby. You're going to die. You're going to die. I'm going to help kill you, but you're going to die anyway. Oh, hello. I see you there. New target acquired. Hmm. I'm going to lose lock on him in a second. Yep, there he goes. New target acquired. And yep, there goes the urban mech. His leg got taken out. I helped! Ha ha. Now, the thing is, I don't really want to engage... Um, yeah, I don't really want to engage that Locust, because, quite frankly, the Locust quite easily kill me. I'm not fitted out for close-range combat. Target like, acquired. at all. New target acquired. Oh, he ran around a corner. Oh, no, he's back. Hit him! Anything I can do to help slow him down, basically. Oh, look, I'm getting hit in the back. Good, he's dead. Woo. Oh, hello, there's someone else. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> right. Okay, here comes the main enemy forces. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Heat level critical. I am overloading a little bit. Um, my ally over there is in serious trouble. Let's try and get the wolfhound off him, at least. Oh, he's dead. I'm probably going to get to primary pretty soon. Yep, okay, he's been one way and hit. Centurion, have missiles. New target acquired. New target acquired. Yeah, not really good range, that. But we have been pushed back into this defensive position, so that's a, a bad thing. New On the plus side, acquired. though, we are actually doing better than they are. Nine kills to their five. So that means we're probably going to win this one. Hmm, I think he's behind a wall. Yeah, that, that wall's in the way. Boo! Curse you, inanimate object! Curse you to heck. I want you out of my way so I can shoot things. Pretty please. I should be able to hit this guy, though. Yep, there we go. Come on. Oh, now he's way too close to that wall. Never mind. I think that's probably the key to good learning, really. You've got to be aware of where your missiles are trying to go. Because it helps spare so much. Nope, oh, there we go. All enemies are dead. 
Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. So, how did I do? I know I helped, and I took average damage, so I lost about half my armor. Um, 462 damage done, 10 kill assists. Two of the kills did most damage dealt, so two of the mechs I really pummeled. I didn't get any outright kills myself, but that was actually close range brawling going on for the most part. And I was acting as fire support to help soften up the enemies for my teammates. Which is actually a really good way to go for LOM play. Plus, I got nearly 260,000 T-Balls out of it, so yay for that. Not too bad at all. Anyway, roll on to match number two. Mm -hmm. Let's go, match number two. Okay, here we go. Welcome, welcome to game number two. The map is River City. The game mode is Skirmish. And that was a laser. And that is a laser. And so is this. Ha ha. I see, I can do lasers too. Ha ha ha. Right. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, just like the... Uh, well, this is the last match and all the other maps. Um, this one has some good points and some bad points for LOM users. Depends on what the enemy tries to do, really. Though on this map, they tend to either go for the saddle, which, in which case I can happily bombard them, or they go for the tunnel, in which case I can't really bombard them unless they wander outside it. So, yeah, you know. As I said, good points, bad points. But that said, it's skirmish, and how things are deployed, I suspect a lot of the equipment is going to be heading for the saddle. In which case, I can give them little presents. Many, many, many little presents. Mm -hmm. Because they've all been such good little boys and girls. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I get like this quite often. When I'm using missiles, and when I'm also sleepy. Because I am sleepy. So, you get to hear me being a bit disjointed, a bit random, and enjoying blowing things to pieces. Because, well... Wouldn't you enjoy blowing things to pieces? I enjoy it. I mean, let's look on to the shadow cap. We've got a reasonable lock, so... Don't know if that'll hit, so I'm just firing a single salvo. Yep, lost tracking. Didn't hit. That's to be expected. There is, however, some enemies getting involved over that end of the map as well. Hmm. I am disappointed by a lack of enemy units approaching on the Sorry. other side of the saddle. Which means that the enemy force is actually concentrating in the tunnel, and I need to move with my team to avoid getting hopelessly outflanked. Because remember, LRM's no good up close. New target acquired. So yeah, there's only a shadow cut detected on this direction so far. They are definitely... Yep, someone said they're coming through the tunnel. I did see a radar contact in that direction as well, so I am aware, believe it or not. <laughs> anyway, one of the reasons I... Ten, try not to take stock builds out is because, well, I've already given thoughts and opinions on them, so especially in a match number two, it's like, well, I've already said these things about it, so I'm not really needing to judge it. It's a design I like, so it's one that I'm holding on to. So, what should I really do? You know? Oh, he's, he's out in the water and at range, so lock and fire. Okay, I should be able to hit him with that salvo. This next salvo, probably not. Oh, no, he made it into cover. Yeah, he's about to die. There he goes. Okay, they're starting to come up behind us. And they are coming up the saddle, so I'm opening fire quite handily. Yeah, backing up, because someone knows I'm there. Oh, I actually got someone. Let's try and help. Um, Relock, fire. Yes, yes, I know. Relock, lock on the Hellbringer. Fire. Don't know where he's gone. Ooh, hello, Mauler. Hello, Mauler MX90 with. Wow, that's a lot of machine guns. <laughs> oh well. I fired a bunch of shots into their area, so that should have helped a little bit. Thing is, I don't know where they are, and I know that they're taking a bit of cover now, so. I need to be aware of this. Oh, that guy. 
that guy's out and exposed. Oh, darn it. New target acquired. Hello, Banshee. Yeah, I'm just quite happily hiding up here. Raining down fire. Because why the hell not? I think that's what it boils down to, doesn't it? Why the hell not? Especially since I've actually got a decent firing spot. If they're in the um, exposed areas, I can generally hit them. Plus the fact I'm a, I'm a massive mauler just climbing around on a hill, so... <laughs> there is that too. It's not often you get to say that. Okay, I think that Banshee's now in cover. And uh, we got an enemy... Oh. Aha! I see you. Yes, I see you. Whoops. And that's one of the things I like about the... Um, well, that, it's actually something I can talk about, isn't it? The ER meds that replace the L pulses. The ER meds run cooler, and they actually have more range, okay. so I could do something like that and snipe out a certain UAV. Hello there, Jager. How are you? Having missiles? Good. Jolly good. Unfortunately, the enemy's in the lead right now. We lost we, half our force. Yeah. A bunch of our equipment was um, st I, st hanging around here while most of our force moved over the hill. So we got a bunch of people that just got outflanked, basically. Which is not good. Uh, anyway, let's see. Uh, um, there's no targeting. Everyone's being kind of hesitant right now, so... I'm struggling to even get at any target information. Yeah, as you can see, massive enemy forces. They just push our forces back straight away. So this is less than ideal, to be quite honest. To put it mildly. Oh, yep, yeah, now they're pushing the hill. Hello, dragon. Fire! Oh dear, he's dead. Hello there, Jagamek. Fire! Oh, hello. You're, you're a... What, what are you? Oh, I see. You're a gorse, Jager. Ow. Well, now I'm being prioritised, aren't I? And yeah. <laughs> As I said, me no have pointy blank boom boom. So, yeah. Oh, apparently someone on our team called everyone skillless kids. Uh, yeah, I'm not skillless. I was doing fine. Someone just got really salty because a, a couple of us got blown up quite early on and left us at a disadvantage. I was actually working quite hard there. 524. And I got three kill assists and I got one of our few kills as well. So I was helping. Sadly though, it was um, not enough. Though that said, I did do enough to negate the pilot skill penalty for losing a match. So that's always a decent outcome if I'm going to lose. Anyway, this has been Iron Mark 3 walking around with uh, many, many explosives. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show and me showcasing my good old LRM skills again. And I'll catch you all some of the time. Mm -hmm. See you all later.